Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the arguments for making public colleges tuition free? One popular argument for making public colleges tuition free is that it would increase access to higher education, especially for low income students. This could reduce income inequality and improve social mobility. Another reason is that a more educated workforce could lead to economic growth, as individuals with college degrees tend to earn more and contribute more to the economy. This could also reduce the burden on social safety net programs. Some proponents argue that tuition free public colleges could help reduce student loan debt, which has reached over $1.7 trillion in the United States. This debt can limit individuals' financial freedom and hinder economic growth. Others point out that many European countries, such as Germany and Sweden, offer tuition free higher education and have not faced significant negative consequences. In fact, they often rank high in global education and innovation indices. Additionally, making public colleges tuition free could incentivize more students to pursue careers in public service or other fields that may not have high salaries, but are essential for society's well being. Finally, proponents argue that investing in public higher education is a smart use of taxpayer dollars, as it can lead to a more skilled workforce, increased tax revenue, and reduced reliance on social services. However, it's important to note that making public colleges tuition free is not without its challenges, such as funding and potential overcrowding. But, considering the potential benefits, it's a debate worth having. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.